begins on the inner aspect of the hind leg, useful in treating internal disorders, hock and back problems, starts at the inside of the hind leg one-third of the way from the front of the hoof on the inside coronary band, travels upward across the inside cranial portion of the fetlock and cannon, across the inside front portion of the hock, upward to intersect with spleen meridian inside the thigh, upward into the groin area, then goes internally to emerge again on the same side of the body, though we're moving to the other side to show, to emerge externally at the end of the 18th rib, and then moves downward to end at the costochondral junction of the 14th rib. Liver meridian begins at the ting point, liver one, a very important point for treating laminitis, colic, uterine prolapse. Traveling upward, we come to liver two, which is the sedation point. It's used for laminitis, eye disorders, uterine problems, a very important point in colic, also arthritis of the fetlock joint. Traveling upward, we come to liver three, a very important point for clearing the meridian, a calming point. It's used for eye problems, hock pain, colic, diarrhea. We come to liver five, a very important point, the connecting point, resolves irregular estrus, treatment also for hock problems. Traveling upward, we get to liver eight, up here on the medial side of the epicondyle of the femur, a very important point for treating medial stifle problems, prolapsed uterus, and diarrhea. Liver meridian travels from the groin area outward to liver 13 at the tip of the 18th rib, traveling downward then to liver 14, which is the alarm point for the liver which is used to treat myositis, abdominal distension, liver problems, and muscle soreness.